So one of the things that I wanted to show you was how I make my lotion bars. And it's really a simple process, but I thought I'd quick show you before Celebrate Samhain as part of the, the daily vlog video. So I am making some great lotion bars. You can see them here. There's all sorts of fun shapes, different sizes. Aren't those great? So we will be making lotion bars. And the first thing that you're gonna need is beeswax. I have here a nice big chunk, half a cup of beeswax. Just gonna place it in, actually I'm gonna place it on its top. Now you'll see there is a, uh, a residue in the bottom of this pan. That is just because I've been making lotion bars like you saw before, like crazy for the event. So now we're just going to let the beeswax melt completely and then we're gonna add our other ingredients. So now you can see that the wax is all melted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place in the solid oils and that is the shea butter and the coconut oil. So I have here a half a cup of shea butter and coconut oil. Now, depending on where you live, coconut oil might be liquid at room temperature. Um, if it's really warm, coconut oil melts at 76 degrees. So if it's warmer than 76 degrees, it's gonna melt. If it's colder than that, it's gonna stay nice and solid like this. So where I am in New England, and it now being winter, I can use coconut oil in these lotion bars um, because it's going to stay solid, no problem. The shea butter, on the other hand, will stay solid no matter what. It, it takes a high melting temperature for it to come down. So we're just going to melt that completely in. And while that's doing that, I'm going to pour my liquid oils. So my liquid oils consist of avocado oil, which you can see here. Oh, I'm going to get that to focus, avocado oil, and also consists of sweet almond oil. So let me get that out, and this time I'm using our Acacia's sweet almond oil. And so we're just going to fill up that same container, no sense in messing up multiple containers. You can hear me squeezing out the oil. So we have, now I just fill it all the way up with the two oils, just splitting them half and half. And now as you can see, it's still, it kind of solidifies up a little bit. You need to stir that out until it's all liquid again. and it will start to become liquid pretty fast as you can see. So from here, we have it nice and liquid. So I'm just gonna take that same um, scoop that I was using, and I'm actually going to scoop up a good amount of it, like this, because it's just much more easy to pour this way. And I'm actually gonna pour that directly into this small mold that I have. And I'm just going to pour, grab a little bit more, and pour. This is so hard to do on camera, guys. Holy moly. All right, there you go. And it's okay to get a little bit over the edges. It'll all come off. So that is how you do a lotion bar mold. And when we're unmolding it, I will show you how to take that out and how amazing it looks when it's done. And it is so moisturizing. Okay guys, so now it has been a little bit of time. It's probably been about a half an hour or so. And now normally I would advise you to leave it in a little bit longer than this, but because I am doing this I'm um, doing many batches of these. I need to get this one out and the next one in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take, this is just a silicone mold and as you can see, it's covered with stuff because um, I've been doing these now for um, quite a few batches. So, and I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, which is not the easiest thing in the world. So I'm just gonna loosen the edges by pulling it back, tip it over and push it out like, so, there we go. All right, guys, Oop, let's zoom in. There you go, and you have a beautiful lotion bar. This is super moisturizing. Um, it melts with the heat of your hand, and this size of a lotion bar will, is actually will provide enough moisturizer for your hand, the same that a big 16 ounce lotion bottle will. 
So this is a great mold. I love it. It's wonderful. And it's just a lot of fun. My little elephant here. So thanks guys. And um, the rest, the next will be my Celebrate Samhain vlog. And I'll be taking you with me and showing a little bit of the ritual afterwards as well. So hope you enjoy. Thanks so much. Bye.